Hello, grade 11. Today we're going to look at unit one topic, and it says the rhetorical devices in speech in the convention uh, text, unit one. Uh, so let's look at the, some of the definitions before we move on to the exercises. In making an argument, a speaker or writer may use rhetorical devices to appeal to his or her audience. Basically, a rhetorical device uses language for effect. Do you have to influence uh, uh, or uh, persuade your reader or your audience? Rhetorical devices that can persuade an audience include paradox, congestion, and rhetorical questions. So we'll, we're going to look at those uh, in details. Uh, there is also a tone. Tone, while not strictly an example of a rhetorical device, it can still affect uh, an audience. A speaker's or writer's tone may be ironic, serious, or humorous, like funny, and so on. So let's look at this. In this text, uh, Franklin's speech was successful. Why? The Constitution was approved and sent to the states for ratification for the uh, final decision. Franklin's te text provides examples of several rhetorical devices or ways of using language for effect that appeal to an audience and produce a successful oratory. So what is a paradox? It's a statement or idea that seems contradictory, but actually presents a truth. So contradictory means like you put two opposite ideas in your statement, like here in Shakespeare's Hamlet, the statement, I must be cruel to be kind seems illogical. How can it be? But on reflection, however, it demonstrates a deeper truth. Sometimes one must face uh, a painful reality in order to rise above or learn from it. This is what it means. Congestion is the acknowledgement of opponent's argument. So basically you just accept the uh, other people's uh, opinions, opposite ideas. And then, uh, you, even though you don't agree, you just mention them in your uh, speech. Rhetorical questions are questions asked for effect, to make a point or to introduce a topic. The speaker does not expect the audience to answer this question because the answer is obvious. So we said the tone can be ironic, serious, humorous, friendly, distant, cynical, earnest, and so on. So look at this text, and it's about the internet security, uh, what uh, some countries do about it. So have a look at this, read it. Stop the video and then read uh, from the screen. And then what is the question here? So the first question is, what paradox is used in the passage? What does it mean? So the possible answer can be, the paradox, safety, can be dangerous. There's a sentence there at the end of the paragraph. So this is a paradox because safety and danger are used in the same statement. It means that shutting out threats can also lead to shutting down legitimate sites. What congestion does the author of this passage make? So what is the opposite idea that he acknowledges? The author makes the congestion that shutting down dangerous internet sites immediately is a positive thing. So he, he acknowledges this idea. How would you describe the tone of the passage? So the tone of the passage is serious and concerned. What rhetorical device is being used in this sentence? How can we even consider trading our freedom for a little security? So basically, this is a rhetorical question. The rhetorical, uh, the, what it means is the answer to the question is obvious in the author's mind. So he doesn't need to, he doesn't need the audience to answer this question because he knows what they think already. Another uh, text, have a look at this. This is about uh, living a healthy life, exercise, going to the gym, etc. So it's very obvious that uh, here the writer does not agree using these uh, machines, fitness machines, because he thinks people get bored and he uh, agrees with that. But he also acknowledges some of the opposite ideas. 
So what congestion does the author make about fitness mach machines? So what is an opposite idea here? The idea is the author states that fitness machines are great for those who like them. So he acknowledges that some people uh, like them. And the second one, the tone is conversational and encouraging. So the author uses very casual daily language and says things like, come on, get in the game, folks. And here, the third question, the rhetorical question here is, is there anything that can be done, is an example of a rhetorical question. The author might have used this device to get readers' attention or to transition to his or her ideas about what can be done. The purpose of rhetorical question, as we said, is not to expect an answer. It's just so the readers pause and think about that question on their own. They, they try to maybe find a solution uh, about the issue. And the last one, the question, it says, write a paradox that the author could have included in the paragraph and explain what it means. So maybe he could include fitness machines are bad for your health. So health and bad. So how can it be? It means that if people avoid using them, the machines are leading people to live more uh, sedentary lives instead of healthier ones. So this can be included in the text. So this is the end of the worksheet and the lesson. I will see you in another uh, video lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.